Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, or Monsieur Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, last time, we went to war with Iberia. And, I'll be honest, this is a short video like you can probably see. It's not exactly where we left off. It's September 29th, 1941. But, I'll be honest with you guys, I can't win this. It's impossible. I've tried this two or three t different times. I've been trying to build up lots of land forts in all my areas, but, uh... I can't fight this many people at once. I can't fight Germany, the UK, or, you know, Great Britain, Italy... Austro-Hungarian Empire and Iberia at the same time. It, they just keep, you know, they're super strong. They keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Uh, D-Day obviously won't happen, but um, actually the British have been trying to invade me quite a bunch. I know this is on a historical, but the Reich hasn't gone to war with the Soviets yet, which is really disappointing, but uh, I can't really do very much. I've done really well against Italy. We've done really well against the Germans, but they found my soft underbelly in the Pyrenees and I guess I'll show you the casualties. We haven't actually inflicted that many casualties. I've suffered less than half a million. But, uh, 1.69... Uh, 660,000-ish. Uh, 1.4 million against Italy, which makes sense. Austro-Hungarian... The Austro-Hungarian Empire. Less than 300,000. And then Iberia. We haven't really done much against them. 21,000. But, uh, honestly... Iberia, I think... I think it's a little bit too strong right now. Maybe I could... I might be wrong. You know, I might be wrong. Um... They just finished a civil war. Like, yeah, they can have Portugal under them too, but... They're a little strong with a million manpower and reserves, and they're not garrisoning things, I think. Like, I don't know if we can tell, maybe, maybe not. Uh, obviously, we can't see the compliance and stuff like that, but, you know, whatever. I think they're a little too strong right now. Perhaps, maybe. And basically, ooh, I'm gonna get encircled here, probably. How many divisions are we fighting? Over, Almost 500 versus my... 300 with all of my allies. I mean, yeah, America's done a little bit. The allies have done a little bit. They're holding in Belgium instead of down here for the most part, so... I usually don't say we're going to have losses in my campaigns. I'm not going to call this a loss, but it was an opportunity to play a different nation. That's what I'm going to call this one. An opportunity to try out a monarchist France, which has ended not so favorably in our position. But, uh... For the time, it was playing as Orleanist France. Next time... Maybe I won't set it up to be so difficult for myself, because I did set it up so that Great Britain would become a monarchy. I didn't know they'd ally or become part of the Axis, so... I did want the Germans to, be, of course, a fascist. I wanted the Austro-Hungarians to become an empire, but not unite with Germany, but, you know, whatever. I'm not being the same alliance. But, you know, other than that, like I said, I enjoyed this campaign for what it was, but it's impossible fighting one, two, three, four, five other major nations, even with the United States. Which, honestly, has done almost nothing. It's pathetic. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this campaign. I did for what it was. And I hope to see you all in another campaign again soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.